good Friday morning, July 16th at 6.15. Yes, I'm here at the nest. Just starting to get light. I've looked around and listened. I don't see either Harriet or M15 yet. Just like last week when I was here, but we have plenty of time to wait this morning. See if maybe they come to the nest area. And I can drive around and look at a couple of perch spots before I go home if we don't see them here. I'm sure they're doing fine. Nobody's in the front times I looked. And that's where they sit sometimes. Not this morning. Nobody's in the nest tree. There's the nest. I'm up toward the front by the road more than I usually am. And there is nest two. Nobody perched in the snags over there. Nobody in the snags in the nest tree pasture. Cams are still up. One great blue heron flew by. Looked like he was going to the pasture pond. Fishing already this morning. That's to the north. Southwest. South. And there's east. Not quite sunrise yet. We'll see if we have a nice bright sunrise. the south time. I don't see anybody there. There's the Norfolk pine south of yonder pond. Nobody's perched on top of that. They must be vacationing down by the river. They sure aren't here. Pretty pink sky now. Pink and yellows. Burning to the sun. Rise. <laughs> Pretty. That's east. Nobody's perched on the north of Pine in the little residential area. I 
don't see anybody in the church tree. That's to the north, behind the church. horses are underneath the oak tree in the front of the pasture, snoozing. Good morning. Grass is still growing in the nest. And the vines are covering part of this too. It's summertime. White egret hanging over the pasture. Good morning. I hear you. There's my little buddy, the shrike. morning. Loggerhead strike. Have you seen mom and dad? I know, they put you in charge, you think they did. Good to see you. On top of the strangler pig. It looks like the electric company trimmed some of the branches on the trees in the west pasture that were getting too close to the lines. See the new cuts on the tree, trees? There's more. Uh, there. There's more. Trimmed them up. Him could have helped to do that. There's the drive side pond snag. Nobody's there. And the bee tree. There's the great blue heron that came into the pond earlier. Are you fishing? Good morning. Mm -hmm. 
Nice to see you. And just see the water there. So the ponds come up quite a bit. If Harriet or M were here, they'd be watching you fish. Great blue heron. down at the back of the church. And since nobody's around, we can get a better look at the pond. See how high it is. It's come up quite a bit. There's a horse feed station. The pond. Waters come up. Great blue herons up here. Where'd you go? There he is, sort of behind the tree. Still fishing. Oh, almost. <laughs> of course you'd be behind the tree. Anyway, there's a pond. This is the view of the pasture from back here. Nest is way up here. You can even see the grass growing from here. Check who's sitting on top of the old cam tree. Morning. Uh, horses see their mom driving in to feed them. Breakfast. Everybody knows their own feed bowl. Okay, breakfast is served. Eat 
yep. 7.15, no eagles yet. Those are whistling ducks. They're hard to catch. Flying, they're quick. Whistling ducks. <laughs> Boy Northwest. They have a distinctive call like a whistle. There they are again. Hear them? Oh yes, they landed, I can't believe it. Hello there. Those are whistling ducks. On top of the cam two tree. How about that? Good morning. Thank you for stopping. Have you seen mom or dad? You can cover a lot of territory in a short amount of time. Maybe he's watching over here. White ibis on the drive side pond snag. Good morning. That's an adult ibis. White ibis. There they go, there goes one. Hear them? Calling.
crow that thinks he's in charge of the nest tree, perched in the attic. Good thing mom and dad aren't around. There go the ducks. Have a good day. See how fast they go? Look for mom and dad. It's 7.45. Still no eagles seen. We'll say goodbye to the nest tree and go around to a couple of other spots. Look behind the shopping center for one. See if mom or dad are in a perch spot that we know of. There's so many we don't know of. I'm sure they're resting. It's been quite warm lately with afternoon storms. Be safe and careful, Harriet and M15, wherever you are, we love you. Stand tall and strong, nest tree. See if you can get somebody to mow the lawn in the nest. It'll get trampled down once mom and dad start rebuilding the nest in a month or two. Okay, we'll go searching before I go home. There's yonder pond. They're still building. There's the pine that mom and dad sit in. Nobody's there. And this is what the sign says now. Private property, no trespassing, fishing past this point. That's the way yonder pond looks these days. We still have lots of good memories. Okay, we'll go back behind the shopping center. 805, I'm behind the shopping center. There's the cell tower. Nobody found the cell tower. The neighbor eagles usually leave for the summer. So mom doesn't have to guard this area while they're gone. At least against them. There's the snags. Nobody's on the snags. And uh Summer pine, another couple of trees. Nobody's up there. Sometimes we see mom there in the summer. That's why I call it the summer pine. Don't see any eagles over there. Or there. Or here. Nobody's here. Don't see anybody. I hope everybody's got full tummies already this morning. Maybe. Okay. One more spot and then I'm heading home. see any wading birds either. Might be a little too deep for them. This is the drainage area that M usually finds his armored catfish in when it's a little shallower. This is the 
Norfolk pine that we see him sit in from the cams. It's a little ways away from the road. A nice perch spot for him. As long as he's not looking for roadkill, right? Nobody's there. And there's a glossy ibis. White egret fishing in the ditch. Okay, 815. This is another area that Harriet and M perch in. I don't see anybody. Okay. I'll be back in another week, everybody. Love everybody. Be safe and be careful.